it is Planet Zoo Day. But it's not the Challenge Zoo Day, it is Streamland Park Day. So let's go ahead and we'll bring that back up. And we'll see if it'll load, number one. <laughs> Hopefully it will. We've been working on this guy for a while. everybody doing? Welcome to Friday Land. Hopefully the week's not been too bad for you. I'm somewhat on time. Well, for me it's, cons it's pretty much on time. I'm either early or late. Some kind of sirens. I'm not entirely sure what kind. Not fire truck though. I know that much. <clears throat> All right. We set this to. Okay, we did. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and just hit pause here and just take a look at where we're at on our Slithering Serpents exhibit area. So when we last left off, we had gotten um, the walls of the exhibit area for the snakes um, up and the it's not fully done like I haven't done the landscaping on anything yet because we're gonna come back and do landscaping across the top here we still have to add lighting to the walls and everything so I mean we're definitely nowhere near done on this guy but um, we're we're getting there so we still have one more um, exhibit to put walls up on here so let's dive in with that. What am I looking for here? This guy. Let's go ahead and plop him into there. Now this tree is going to give us some shade here, so I don't know if I'm going to need to uh, change the time of day here or not. Now I'm pulling this out just to cover that top bit, like the top vents and stuff. <coughs> okay. Now, let's see if I can do this. I don't know if I can. We will see. Maybe we can. don't know if I'll be able to slide this in exactly how I want to, but we can... Oh, hey! Never noticed the little... One, two, three, four, five, six... What was that? Hexagon? 
pattern on there. Yeah, alright, so... No, just thinking about something. Okay, pay attention. Alright, so I was looking at the shell. I might change the color on the shell ever so slightly. Just to um, cover up the bits that uh, are showing through. Let's see if we can even get this to happen here. We might not. I feel like we ought to be able to though, right? That looks okay. I think. Everything kind of looks like it's where it should be. Alright, so we can... Huh. We need like an eyedropper. They have one, don't they? No. Not that I've seen. That's just like a little pen. Oh wait, hold on. Uh -huh. So did you is it is a color changeable item? Yeah. If you go into edit, you can copy that text. What is it? Control. Control C. Also, because you selected it, now it's in recent, so it's the, it's the nearest color. So when you go to the thing you want to change the color of. Um, what did yeah. you say? Where it says recent color, that should be it. Where you just pasted that, yeah. Control B. Okay. Now it's hard to tell if it did much there because that one's in the dark. Okay, we don't see a whole lot of it. Um,. shining through because it's a dark color but you can sort of see a little bit there at the bottom there's like the tiniest oh no maybe that section is just black oh well, there's a little bit at the top you can kind of see that we're changing that color there Just kind of makes it all melts a little bit better. Oh yeah, and the back panel inside is changing too. So we'll do that to kind of match with the colors around the thingy. Did this one have the Archie do at the top? It did. Okay. So, we're going to go to the exhibit animal market. 
Oh no, you know what? I don't want to do it that way. I want to... I want to come in through the Zoopedia. It's a little bit easier to scroll through. Alright, so what was our last one? The Western... We're towards the end, I think. I think we're on yellow anaconda. Excuse me. So. Oh. Hang on. We didn't read about them. How many can we have in here? Guess we need a 25 to 30 C and an 80 to 90 percent humidity. Uh, one to two. So, in theory, a um, pair should work. Okay, so let's see here. We'll go with you. And we do have animal death turned off just to make things a little bit easier. So that way we don't have to uh, keep track of these guys. So here's my thing. Why can't in the other, like in the habitat, you can select the habitat and then from there you can put the animal on birth control. The little thingy here. You can't seem to do that. On the exhibit he does. So let's see here. Oh, I forgot to do that on them. Now I think the only ones, or the only one that doesn't have birth control. Yeah, the aardvark, because they're in there by themselves. Okay. So what did we say? Um, I think 30 was max on the temperature. We'll go like 28. And then this was, was it like 80 to 90? All right. And that should be coming up fairly quickly here. We'll put this stuff in. We're just gonna give it all to them, why not? We're on sandbox, we can afford it. Let's splurge. Alright, who's window one here? Alright, that is window one. Window two. Let's go for the 3D facade. Because it just looks better. We're not quite that hard up. If we were trying to do a more budget conscious zoo, then maybe we would do like the 2D facades. Okay, so they're happy now. Did I already... S oh, no, we didn't quite set this yet. Okay, so you are January, March, okay. We're gonna duplicate our sign here, except you are not that, you are that. 
and we need to duplicate our friend here. Nobody's coming over to see the new snakes, I guess. Although, to be fair, those guys were probably already programmed into their destination beforehand. So now it looks like we might have some folks coming over. Alrighty. So we've got that sunshade in place. Now, this thing, this thing, we need to work on, no, this, we need to work on our negative radius. We're only at 8% um, scenery and a 4 of 50, so we can definitely do better on that. And this one's at 33. There's not a whole... Well, we can do a little bit better on that one. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and hit pause since we're in year 124 of this zoo. And we need to... Um, oh, before we do that. Before we do that. Let me grab that while I'm thinking about it. Okay. Alright, so we're back into the 3D wall pieces here. Now this guy... being fussy. Alright, so I'm gonna go with the same pieces here that we did on the exhibits. Just so that way we have more of a tied together set area, everything kind of matches. Alright, so we got those in place. Now, how do we want to handle the roof of our building here? Well, that's a good question. The rest of the pieces here are going to look a little bit different. Um, let's see. The icon color doesn't really matter so much because that's going to get hidden. Alright, so that brought us up into the orange. Number of meals served. Why aren't these keepers using this? Like, I've got keepers assigned to this. But it's strange, unless they just haven't had the, um, the chance to use it yet, which I guess is possible. Um. I don't think we can. Yeah, this is going to look a little bizarre if we... Just try to... Oh, 
attack that guy on. I mean, number one, you're not quite lined up anyway. Interesting. For sure. We could, though, stick this outside. I'm going to put this over. intersection of the walkway here. I mean, we can do that. That should be alright. It's still, it's another piece that kind of helps tie all of this together. Okay, you're up to 12. Um... Alright, so where was this piece again? I think it was in wall decoration. Yeah, there he is. Let's go ahead and drop this guy in place. And I guess we should kind of try to do like a similar type roof situation. On this guy. So, let me grab one, no. I know what I want. Alright, so this one we're not going to be able to do it on because... Well, that's a flickery mess. Maybe we won't do that. No, we'll forgo that. Never mind. That's a little bit more of a mess than I want to deal with. Because you know what? We're probably actually going to cover a lot of that up with foliage anyway. So perhaps we skip that. That's just the paint color. I mean, we probably could technically use this. But... Can't change the color of it, so I don't know if I want to. Um, at least for this, in this instance. I did get that recording edited that I did for the other zoo.
Okay, that I'm not crazy about. So... These guys weren't that far sunk down. So, I'm a little... surprised. That, uh, that decided to show through. So I didn't have that issue with the other guys. That's kind of sort of fascinating. Hmm. That's all right. We can adjust. Just take us a minute here of fussing. Won't be too much of a big deal. Nobody's really gonna see the seams on this roof anyway. When everything is all said and done. Man, everybody stay safe today. There's some wild ass weather happening out there. When I last checked, we seem to be on the side of the dry line where stuff wasn't flipping out at the moment. But when I first got up, there was quite a few uh, tornado warnings out there. There still is, actually. Looks like there's at least one in Missouri, if not two right now. Possibly one in Illinois. There's at least one in Arkansas at the moment, out in the middle of the state. Possibly two, I can't tell if that is a... Is that a spirit thunderstorm? Yeah, that's a spirit thunderstorm. Just be careful out there today, guys. Make sure you are watching your weather. Okay. So we've got our top. Alright, now I need our beams. there for a second because I was like what do you mean you only brought that much with you it's like what are you doing so here's the question can we get this on here. Without too much fussing. Maybe. It also looks like it wants to be difficult with how it's turning.
Alright, that's pretty good. And we'll bring this guy. And all of the loud vehicles are coming out to say hello today. Although it is kind of nice out. Kind of nice. Okay, now those guys have the little... The little triangular shape. Now that one's across these slats. Do we want to go with up and down these slats on this building just to be a little different, or do we want to go with this guy just to keep it the same? I mean, it should probably be the same color. Can I get everybody? Come on, I had you like 30 seconds ago in the correct spot. What is happening? We had it, like, it wasn't, like, up top in the correct spot, but... This color does not... look the same suddenly you know what's happening here it really doesn't look the same I mean I guess it is drop that in before I click on this. Um, control C. Control P. I guess it was the same, it just didn't look like it. Alright. Be that way then. Okay. I'm gonna duplicate this guy. No, 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 no. Not what I want 
hidden from you at all. Okay, so there's that guy. This one. You're the one that's a little... Misguided, maybe. I mean, we're gonna have like plants and shit up here anyway. Okay, so these guys. Can I? Bring you up a little bit higher. Maybe. Okay, are you still touching the ground? Yes. Okay, so that's a win there. So we've got that there. This just looks so much lighter. It's got to be the way the light's hitting it. it. Has to be. Right? Okay, so we're gonna duplicate this guy. Oh, that kind of works. Um. I did say kind of. All right, that's probably good enough to get us in here. can do some slight adjustments. Okay, that's a little, a little off. As long as we're not hanging off the building or anything, I think we'll be okay. All right, and then grab these guys. That's a little high. Okay, good enough on that one. So then these two, these two kind of need to come up, but I almost want to put. I almost want to put these on all four corners on this building because it's so much larger. Then the other guy. Our little exhibit guys. Probably be okay. And we'll 
drag this guy back over to here. And then that will also help us get this guy up to the height we need. All right, that doesn't look too bad. Just borrow a copy of this. Oh, are we flickering? Are we gonna flicker? Hmm. I don't know. Are we flickering? Don't seem to be. Okay. I'm not worried about the line showing with these guys meeting up on the top here. Number one, it's on the roof, and what guests are going to be looking down on it. Number two, we're going to be putting foliage and stuff up here, like kind of cascading down. So that's going to kind of cover it. Grab these two. We'll bring this up to about, mm, about there ish, I guess. Alright. So that kind of fits the other buildings out here. What are you at? Alright, you are at 15%. Did I actually manage to get you off the path, though? Maybe. It's kind of hard to tell there. Alright, but we haven't done everything we're going to do with you yet. You're at 24. Alright, you're just barely scraping that one. You're just barely scraping that one, but I think you are actually off the path, but you're s we still have 26% that we can uh, shrink this down by, so... All hope is not lost yet on that. We still can... Uh, get some work done with that one. Alright, you know what? Give me one second. I need to message the husband, because he seems to have vanished here on me. He's in the house somewhere. I just don't know where he's at. Okay. So, this was the fence the infamous fence that I had picked out. Two. Hmm. Which way is it supposed to sit? Is it supposed to be that way or is it supposed to be this way? I'm not sure. You know what? Let me just kind of plant you there for a minute. I guess it doesn't really matter. I guess it sits however you want it to sit. Oh, 
Okay, it kind of looks like wooden bars should be on the front. So how do we want to do this? Do we want... Hmm. So we could do like a line of flowers in front of it. Or we could do like a line of flowers behind it. think maybe something like that and let's see here where are all of our snakes from Alright, so you uh, what the hell are you? You're alright, let's go into Zoopedia here real quick. So Boa is Okay, so I'm gonna make some notes in the chat because I can't remember shit. So we've got South America, Central America, and then we've got Grasslands, which is the little black and orange one. And then that green one is Tropical. The common death adder is Australia. And we still have grasslands, and this one has, what is that, the temperate symbol? Eastern brown snake is Australia, New Guinea, um, or the Oceania continent. Um, and we've got desert. We've certainly got like all of the biomes here. Let's see, what else we got in here? Alright, puff a puff. That's gonna be grasslands. Okay, so Africa, Asia. Totally spelled that wrong. Cause my brain. Alright, um sorry, I keep zooming out whenever I come back over to here. So North Central America. Grasslands temperate. And the anaconda's aquatic and tropical. So we've got mostly grasslands seems to be for most of them, so let's see so if we go to grassland and then Okay, so 
Africa and Asia were mentioned. Europe was not mentioned. Which I find interesting. Alright, so let's see what this gets us. We've got what is this? African Daisy. The big blue stem dry grass. Okay, so that would be like more for in the middle. That's it. Not dry. Oh, that's pretty. Um, let's see. Buffalo grass. So that's like this stuff. Cattails. Common grapevine. Grapes. Okay. Common reeds. Kind of looking for flowers. Right at the moment, just to kind of get an idea. So, a cypress. You know, we could do that. We could, like, plop in a cypress guy here, right? He too tall though. No. I think he's okay. So we could frame this entryway. Don't know why that bottle keeps popping. Seems kind of silly for it to be. Okay, so let's come back into here. Alright, so we got the dog rose bush. I mean, it's okay. Don't know if I really want it here. Uh, Drin grass. We got some elephant grass. Alright, so what is this? This is the fairy fan flower. Alright, and it's various sizes. The fever tree, fig tree, ghost fungus. I mean, it's interesting. Goldenrod is actually huge. Hawthorn bush is pretty big too. <clears throat> this is that. No, it's not. That's a different tree. But it's still a tree. So we got nettle. It's just kind of green. Uh, green leafy thing. We've got our field or patch of flowers. Papyrus. Another patch of flowers. It's a pincushion. Hmm. Some more trees, some rocks. So, is it just those two flowers? Really? Like, actual, like, bordery flowers. It looks like it. Um. Okay. So. 
Alright. The African Daisy. Or the Fairy Fan. Now we can't change the color on either one of these. And these clash horribly <laughs> with our uh, with our ground cover here. So let's just see what these two kind of look like next to each other. Give me one second. just checking in with the husband, so I don't know which one I like more here. Um, hmm. I know I don't like the goldenrod. It's too big. And too yellow. <laughs> I think we need some kind of pop of color over here. So, let's see here. I mean, we have some nettle. We could, like, maybe toss in a nettle here and there. But I think if we go nettle, then maybe the fairy fan might be better. But yeah, this guy, this this guy's just fucking huge. Alright, so let's go with this one. He's pretty short. So if we rotate you. Alright. And let's see. Maybe we put you on a slight angle. Ever s nope, I wasn't quite ready to place you yet, my friend. We do that. Because I turned you, I want to make sure that some of you is at least touching the ground. We can kind of do like two on top of each other there, right? And then we could add, we can either add a small nettly guy or we could I mean it's not terrible it's 
kind of thin though on that one. Um, I don't want to go too much bigger. Oh, that's huge. Okay. Um, abort mission. Abort mission. Uh, buffalo grass really wouldn't be in there per se. We could either go like mini cypress. Perhaps. In between each one. And just save like the bigger cypresses for the edge here. We could do that. And let me see. So I mean that would flow with the cypresses going around. Let's see, where was that? Hmm. I know I saw you. And now I don't see you? A wattle bush. That's not what I wanted to do. Where is it? There it is. Common grapevine fill white. Oh. I mean, that would certainly... this thing being so weird. So like if we did that Like we could stick that in behind it, maybe. Just as like a different pop of color. Or we could just, you know, go with elephant grass back there. Although we always go with the elephant grass. That might be nice to have something a little different, and then we could do some trees back in there. And then we've got a couple different shades of green happening. But let me get these out of here. I mean, that could probably work. And then we come back into construction. Nope, that's not what I wanted at all. This guy. So this guy. We spin him. that. And then
Halfway. Where is it? There it is. Okay. So this is a mesh fence, but I feel like that might technically be a gate. Oh, hey, there we go. Wanted. There we go. So if I grab you. Alright. So my mouse is being silly. For some reason. Stick you in there. Alright. And then we position snap you. Alright, so that's three showing. Hi, puppy. What is the matter? So, one, two, three, four, five. So, that. I don't think I can get away with you. Well, maybe we can. So if I put you there. And then this guy. Came up to there. We can leave the little gap in the middle. That should be okay. Or we could even do a little something. that maybe where we could leave this side open side. Stick right there. Alright. We're gonna need some lighting back here. And we're gonna need a sign. So, what kind of sign? Mm. 
do we want? It's kind of big. Again, back to the drawing board with these guys just feeling way too big. Okay, what about... Like this. I mean, the staff will probably walk right through it. I could like put it here. Right. And we'll go. Oh, that's not. how I wanted that to come in there, so that's fine. Really small, okay. See, there's so much room there. I wish we could, like, do staff at the top and then only at the bottom. But... I don't think it's gonna... Let me. It's just... Constantly... Yeah, it's just squishing it. in the wrong way. Okay, so maybe not that font. We also need something that we can kind of read. I mean, that might work. Some of these are just, like, really just tough to read. I mean, not that we really need to read them. This was getting smaller. Okay, so color, edge, text color. I mean, I guess that's a fine text color, right? It kind of looks like a chalkboard. Alright, so now we have to figure out lighting back here. Hmm. So do we want to go with just like light poles or what do we want to do? Hmm. So we've got this guy. I am fond of this one because you can recolor him 
into all kinds of fun colors. This one I'm not really all that fond of. Kind of looks like a barbecue grill to me. I mean, we could go New World since there's a lot of uh, wood back here. It's a little big. I mean, we've got the conservation lamppost. We've got that throughout um, this area over here. What did I do for lighting over here? Did I not put any lampposts in? Oh, okay. We went with the... Where is it? This one. The North African one. Over there. Um, we've got the aquatic lamppost. Kind of feels like... A lighthousey kind of guy. I mean, we could we could stick him into the flower beds or the landscaping and probably be okay. So if we go with that, um, what color light do we want you to be though? So we can change the color. For the lighting. What will that look like? It's gonna be so subtle. So, I mean, we don't want it too dark. also want people to be able to see. So if we duplicate you, right? And we put you like there, and then say here. I mean, you can still see. decently. I mean, this light's not going to necessarily be in that position, though. Because um, we've got a whole different set of stuff happening back here. Alright. I mean, it does feel a little high, though. So maybe if we... lower you. Just a scotiaed. Mm. 
Hmm. It feels weird to have the light at like eye level. Kinda. Maybe fence post height? Yeah. Alright, that's a little bit better. Okay, now up here. So what the hell was that? That was an aquatic lamp post. Um It was really bright. Like, really bright. I mean, that would tone it down, but do we want to be on either side? Do we just want to be in the middle? Let's have this as an option, but I don't know, I kind of like this one better. Because it kind of feels a little more... I know this is going to sound silly, but like snake-shaped. that in the middle or do we want to be on either side I think some are kind of like hanging down in the archway but they'd never need to get anything that tall through the archway yeah that should be okay I think yeah Alright, so I'm gonna get out of that. And since these guys are taller than I really want them to be, we'll get rid of that. Okay, so we've got a plan for this inner ring now. So I'm gonna bring the lights back up. Gently. Okay. Now, before we get too far away, let me come back into centerpieces here. Look at statues just real quick. I don't know if we have a snake statue. I don't want to just search snake because they're also called boas and adders and all of the things. So I just want to take a quick Lancy do here. See what we potentially have to work with. Okay, so we've got an Indian sculpture King Cobra base. Did we even have Oh wow, that is huge. Seriously? I mean, sculpture. A gariel head. Okay. I just want to look at this for a second because god damn. Is 
That is terrifying. Alright, so we can't really do anything with the coloring. We do have one snake statue at least. Hmm. Okay. All right, what about... I don't think we're gonna have anything in props. Before we, you know, finish up our idea here. Alright, that's the stuff from the Twilight, spooky stuff. Okay. I don't think we have anything under wall decoration, but we'll take a quick peek. And then we'll take a look at what signs we've got here. That's plants. That's shells. I mean, that is insects, but that's insects, not... Not snakes. Snakes aren't insects. Um, we already tried to make a snake once. It didn't go well. Although we were also making a very large one. But that was we also made a frog but that was because we didn't really have a frog we've got this it's so big though um all right let's see what we have under signs here so i've never really looked for signs for snakes Ladybugs? Okay. I don't understand we have why we have ladybug signs, but maybe for like an insect house. There's no ladybugs in the game that I'm aware of. I mean there could be and I just don't know it. Hmm. I mean That's a frog sign. Okay, so we have this snake. I'm pulling these out as I see them in case I want to grab them later. That. Deer. Again, just grabbing them now so I can pull them out faster off of here. They're not staying here. Is this animal even in the game? Is it? Huh. I don't remember it being mentioned, but we all know my memory is shit, so... A newt sign. I 
That's the only snake sign we've got. Hmm. All right. This head is just so big. You know? It has shiny eyes. Do its eyes light up at night? I mean, this feels like maybe it would be better off, like, here. Or, like, up here. Like, attached to the wall or something. Ooh. Oh. Hi, Zuzu. What's the matter? Buddy, stop. He's mad that Russell's in the other room and he can't get to him. Is what it is. You know, that could work. That could, in fact, work. If we... Like, bring that down a little bit. Right? And then we get some foliage up there. It's eyes don't... What a missed opportunity, it's eyes not lighting up. I feel like that would be amazing. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, one, two, three, four. So I guess for us to be technically centered, we'd have to be in between the H and the E. And then you like see that on your way out. That could be really cool. At least I don't think these eyes light up. I'll be surprised if they do. No. Alright, well, we know how to fix that from yesterday, right? Not yesterday. Oh. What day was it? Wednesday. I have to get the angle just right. Uh, where are you? Where is it? So. If we go... Like, creepy-ass red. Okay. Whoop, too far. A little tricky to get exact placement here. Especially when you are in the arrow keys. Can I just get the glow in there? Because that could be just as good.
Am I actually in there, though? I mean, I kind of am. But would it be better... to... Alright, I'm gonna have to bring the lights up here for a minute. So I can see... Where the heck we are. So, I mean, that's an option. Or, we have That is huge. I think what this is is that it looks like hmm. I mean it does kind of light the whole thing up up there I mean, that's not bad. Not really. It does have a bit more of a pink to it, but that might just be the red coming off of the sign here. So if we were to do that, because that looks kind of creepy actually, what do we look like from the back? All right, we don't see so much from the back. But let's see here. I mean, it is kind of funny that you're seeing it from certain angles. Suzu, my dude, what's your deal? Are you that upset that you can't get to dad? I mean, you can kind of see it reflecting in its little dome. That kind of works. I think I'm willing to uh, give that a go. It's weird that you can only see it at certain angles, but, you know, that's okay. Right, let me see if I can... Right, let me see if the husband can... He's the pupper. Yeah, we're just in like this little swath. We had so a couple of rumbles of thunder last night and now it's just nothing. I'm certainly feeling the weather system, but oof, okay. So we're gonna grab this fancy guy. 
and we'll duplicate you. So I'm thinking that our fancy guy is not gonna be like fully connected back there. Like, I don't know if he was just mad because he didn't know where you were. Or what his deal is. Okay. Alright, so we'll tilt you just a little bit. Need to make sure we have enough room for our flowers. Okay, so you actually need to come back a little bit more. Okay. Alright, let's so put you there. So now we have a plan, right? So it'll be easier to, uh, to work through this and uh, get done what we need to get done here. So we have ideas. So we did a little bit of brainstorming here. So we got those two guys. So here's the next question. Do we want a big tree every so often where these light pole gappies are? Or do we want to take a big cypress and just kind of smush him in between everybody? Kind of like that. I'm not opposed to that. Not really. Like, I kind of like that. So it gives us some more height back here. Kind of like that. I mean, I still want a big tree. A couple of bigger trees, but that might be a lot of treeage back here if we do that um, on every lamppost section. So I think I think I like that. All right, so we'll pop him into place, and then this guy. I mean, I kind of wish we had gotten some flowers that matched the, uh, the walkway a little bit more. But, you know, that should be fine. We could change the color of the walkway back here, but I, we are kind of playing off this terracotta color in there too, so I don't really want to fuss with that too much. Would have been great if we could have made these like this teal color. We could technically... Probably work with this. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. That could work, and that would tie in the walkway. But then it makes these guys feel out of place, because, you know, of their color. With this purple. 
almost. And I don't... I mean, what is this? Is this like a... I mean, I guess this is kind of purpley, but it's kind of like a navy blue, too. I don't necessarily know if we have any... What was that about? There was someone walking across the street and Zuzu was apparently excited that he needed to talk about it. My house, motherfucker. It's across the street, man. It's Suzu. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, if we could just change the color of these. We can't, though. I mean, we can on these. Would those be better? I mean, they're a little bit taller. They're a little bit fuller. Oh, hold on. Let me see something here. So if we like, okay, let's let's reverse that. If we go like this. Or maybe this and then that. I mean, maybe that's not bad. I feel like. Definitely not bad. Yeah, okay. Sorry, we're we're swapping. Yeah. Is it just oh and we have a okay, so those are our Yeah. Sorry guys. I changed my mind. <laughs> I wasn't really feeling those flowers anyway. Um, alright, so if we take the smaller of you, do we want the smaller of you, or do we want the bigger of you? Hmm, and that is the question. If I tilt you, where am I? Green? Hmm. Could layer you up pretty good that way. Or we could just like stick you in here. to grab. There we go. Nope. 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 There we go. There we go. Alright. So now we're pulling out the... <laughs> I'm such a dork. We're pulling out the, the dark blue-ish purple in the walkway and the teal with the little bit of, or the, not the teal, but like the, the aqua. 
in there. And then we've got the aqua accents on top of the lights. I'm such a dork. All right. Yes. Yes, I like that much better than the purple. The purple just... Uh, I, I'm not opposed to that flower. It's just it didn't really fit. It was clashing. And some of these snakes are tropical as well, so it's fine. This will work just fine in here. to make some little adjustments as we go. Did it welcome me to the chat again? Did did we have an interruption again and I didn't realize? Our net, our internet has been so bizarre in the past couple of days here. Okay, and then we've got another one of these guys. Where's my arrows? Hello? There we go. Wasn't sure if I, if the game froze or if my mouse wasn't behaving. Either entirely possible. Okay, cool. Good, good. Then we're gonna grab this guy. And we'll plop you right about there. Did I bring you forward just a skosh? Yes. Wonderful. And how do you feel about that? You feel mildly okay about that, which is good. All right, and I should have you off the path now. You're good. And how are you feeling about things? You're at a 50% scenery rating, and we haven't pulled that in as much as we can yet still, so we still can do some work there. But we're not done with that yet, so... Everything's looking pretty good. Pretty good. I am sorry it takes me a while to get my mind around how I want things to be. But you know what? It's our zoo. We're not in a huge rush on this one. The only timetable is some fictitious one in my head that I don't really have, so... Whatever. Like, I don't think it's gonna take us anywhere near as long as a uh, hippity hoppity house, but then again, you never know. And so what if it does? So what? Doesn't really matter. Okay. That's good there. And we'll duplicate you. We'll bring you maybe about there. And we'll bring you on up into here. I mean, I was toying with putting that uh, snake statue like back in here, but I think I like him better out here. But now you can see. I think it's glowing off the inside of the the eyeball because when you're at certain angles, you don't really see it. But at night, that's a really lovely effect. So we'll be dropping one of those up on all of our Entrancey guys. Okay, so 
these two don't always like doing multi-select grabs. Sometimes they just annoy the ever-living shit out of me. Because then they don't always seem to want to go in the direction I want them to go. They want to be on their own little weird turny thingy that I haven't figured out yet. I'm sure it's something stupid that I just didn't know. Alright, so we will turn you in just a skosh. And we'll get you... Is she making her onions or do you... I'm doing them, right? Well, I assume you're doing them unless she says otherwise. I don't know, it smelled like somebody was cooking in the kitchen. No, nothing's okay. cooking in the kitchen right now. I'm gonna go get that ice. Ice. She oh. Get ice in the okay. And you know the new one now, right? I'm gonna double check it. Okay. Oh, yeah, for those that have been following along with the debit card saga. Supposedly, um,. In the middle of waiting for the bank to call my mom back, saying that they've fixed everything, my mom had gotten fed up, and she was like, fuck it, I don't care anymore, I can't, I can't deal with this. So, um, she was gonna break down and let us, uh, help her get set up with a bank account for a bank that's local to here. Because Russell and I are like, you know, when something eventually happens to you, what kind of fucking hell are they going to put us through when you've been through this much hell and your name's on the one account and you've banked with these people for years? I used to bank with them before we moved down here. But it's been years. Um, so in the middle of trying to figure all that out, my mom goes, can you still get into the bank's website and look at my account? I have more money in there than I should. And we're like, what? What do you mean? Because they had said that they were going to transfer whatever money remained in my dad's account or accounts we didn't know how many he actually had. We knew of the joint and a separate. We didn't know if he had another one. Um, I'm like, well, we're transferring the rest of the money to your account. It's not that much money. They had told her it was $10, and we're like, okay. Well, when she, I guess, called the automated system to check her balance, she's, she said to us, she goes, I should have like 200 and some odd dollars in there this is telling me I have 1100 and Russell and I almost like did a spit take we're like what because this has been ridiculous she's like it's saying I have like 1100 in there and then Russell and I are like going into panic mode did they make a bank error did social security fuck up and and send his check but his check is more than that so the amount didn't add up did they send a partial check we're like what is going on did the bank not cash any checks that they were supposed to? We're we're just basically like beside ourselves at this point. We're like, we're so done with this. So he's trying to get into her bank account that he set up on my dad's Chromebook and he can't get into my dad's account on the Chromebook even though he swore he changed the password to something after he fixed it the first time that he could get into when he was trying to find all of his creditors and what he was currently paying. and. He thought he changed it. He couldn't get into it. He's like, what the fuck? So then he went in through his account and brought her bank up. And then he's trying to get into her bank account with how he set it up for her. And it's not bringing it up. It's like, nope. And then like after the fifth try, they're like, no, it's locked down. And we're like, what the fuck? I said, Russell, maybe they put a hard lock on the other side when they put a lock on the debit card. It's this bank. I wouldn't be surprised. So he's like, yeah, maybe.
So then the bank finally called back, I think yesterday. Or she called the bank and she's like, hey, what's with this money? Um, I don't know why I have this extra money. I need you to tell me what is going on. And I need you to tell me what, if there were any deposits and what they were. And the bank goes, yeah, so, um, there was a check from Social Security for death benefits for like 200 and some dollars. And she's like, okay, but there's more than that in there. And we weren't expecting that for April anyway. And it's not quite April yet anyhow. And so we're, we're very concerned thinking somebody did a bank error and we need to find out where this money came from. Um, cause it needs to go back if it was a bank error, cause we're not being held responsible for this. Um, not, not after all this bullshit. And we're still in a bit of a panic. And then they're like, and there's a difference. There's another check from social security. That's the difference between my mom, I guess, did the math. That was the difference between her check and his check because they told her that she probably wouldn't be getting, um, because they were married, um, and he was getting more in social security. Um, they're, they're upgrading her, um, her monthly amount to what his amount was since, you know, down in income coming in. And we were told that her check most likely wouldn't be brought up to his amount until May. And we're like, okay, you know, we'll, we'll figure shit out until that happens. It's going to be really tight, but you know, we'll, we'll all figure it out. Um, and so she's sitting there and she's doing the math. Well, they sent her an additional check that they direct deposited for the difference between the two social security amounts. So I guess bringing her March amount up to what his would have been, maybe? We'll, we'll know for sure what's going on um, when, uh, when the date rolls over for her check amount. If, if this is signifying that she's now getting his amount and they managed to uh, get the paperwork done for April's check, we're so confused and kind of nervous. And we're like, uh, okay, we're, we're sure that this is, and they're like, yeah, I was like, okay. Like the dollar amounts add up. For, for shenanigans that have taken place, but with all the other shenanigans with the bank right now, we're just like, make the insanity stop. Please. For fuck's sake. And supposedly they unlocked her debit card finally. Y'all, my dad passed away on February 28th last day of the month of February in the early morning hours I think we accidentally got her debit card locked by using the wrong pin number maybe that weekend I think ish because that Monday we had taken her to the zoo just to get her out of the house for a little bit and let her think about something else and we had, um, in a mad rush, gone to the bank to get something notarized. Um, which we thought was what the bank um, back in New Jersey was asking for. So, it's been a fucking month of back and forth bullshit. And I'm just like, I'm so done. I'm exhausted. But supposedly, supp 
supposedly they have unlocked her debit card. And it was kind of late evening when Russell found out and he was so I think originally supposed to go and try it last night and then just it was storming and raining and he wasn't feeling that great so we just decided to try to do it today. Sucked into here. Man, that wind is kicking. I mean, we are under a wind advisory, but still. Yikes. They did say it was going to get really windy. I'm liking that. That looks lovely. So far. Oh, you know, we don't have any trash cans back here. And we don't have any benches. So I'm thinking that maybe we do like the benchy booze in here, right? The question is which benchy boo? I would kind of like something that we can change the color on. I mean, this isn't terrible. And the paint color, if we can get this guy in the light. Kind of. Alright, so we went a little bit lighter. Um, we could go. That looks so purpley on the red. go with that, right? That isn't bad. And then we could go like cypress tree there. We could go like Lady Do, Lady Do. Something in the middle. This guy kind of matches. So here's the thing do we just leave him? to be like not I 
wish I could adjust you a little bit more. So what if I drop you there? Put you there. Yeah, we can do that. Wonderful. And then this guy. We can spin. Did it work? Not with pin number. Pin number didn't work. The number they made her change to previously uh -huh. didn't work. But it worked as a credit card. Yes, it worked as a credit card. That's something. Yeah, that's something. But it's just a reminder that maybe I'm going to go take care of it by getting a proper bank. Well, now that she's got money in there that's extra, yeah, maybe she'll be able to. we could probably see about doing that on Monday. Yep, yeah, well, I'll talk to her about it. For, for fucking... Ugh. I'm so over this bullshit. I'm so over this bullshit. Got to be kidding me. So do we want this like to sit back here a little bit or do we want it like up here? I think it may be up there. And then I can grab these two. And we'll rotate these just a little bit. So, so mentally done with this bank. It's ridiculous. Does she need to give them a goddamn blood sample at this point? Like, what the hell? Sorry, those of you that have been following along know how long this bullshit's been uh, going on for at this point. Like I said, it's it's easily been a fucking month. Alright, so we'll put you there. And we'll grab you. Alright, that looks good there. And we'll grab our big daddy. Big daddy cypress. Now I'm not going to be able to like put you completely where I want you. But that should be pretty good right there. Um, so do we want to continue? The fence back in here, or do we just like want to do some really tall? I mean, we can still continue the fence, but we could do some tall like elephant grassy guys, or we could just go double cypress here. Man, that wind is kicking. We've got some cypress 
doodles in the trash can there I'm just trying to adjust around. Okay, so if we do that, and then we grab this guy. Just a smidgy smooge. That might have been turned a little too much. Okay. I'm not going to do the garden lights underneath of this like I was originally thinking. That might be a little much. Um, not really meant to be like a garden party. Um, however, we need something up here on this guy, right? So there are... No, is it nature? I don't... I think it might actually be under wall decoration. Maybe. Okay, I do not remember what you are under. I do remember what pack you came in though, so... at this real quick. It's this green thing that I want that's on top of this building. There you are. No. There's someone that has like the doodly doos on it. That one had like grass and stuff. Okay. Hmm. I thought this one had like more texture to it. Well, hmm. I mean, we can certainly plop that up there, which kind of makes that mud section kind of the mud roof like totally not necessary. Oh, that. Is interesting. Hmm. Oh, I like that. Alright. I'm just gonna plop that there for later. We're gonna use that when we get to doing that section. Um, hmm. Okay, so that's not gonna work out the way I wanted that to. All right. Hey, you don't know till you actually look at the shit, right? So. Okay, let's come back into all. And I wanna come. All the way down to here. All right, not the water, hey Cynthia. It's not really what I'm looking for. I mean, we could probably use the grapevine if it comes to it. There's our friend the Scovia. It served us well in Hippity Hoppity House. That's, yeah. It certainly would provide some shade. So 
So if we throw that guy onto there, right? And we can kind of sink him down a little bit. Provide a little bit of cover. It doesn't seem like Wisteria is an option here. In theory, grab some more of our orchids and flip them fuckers upside down. Which is what I think we're gonna do. So we're tying more of our. What is? Oh, we're in the. Alright, let me grab you. Do do. Do, do. Green. It's a hard angle to get at here. And I wish I could just look like straight up here, but I don't think I can. Alright, so we're not going to put these everywhere. Just in a couple of places. If I can grab the right effing arrow, that would be fantastic. So I just kind of want these dotted. In a couple of places. under here. Just kind of randomly. Alright. And do we have one last thing? I don't think we have Let me see, let me find the letter. Oh we do. Okay. Um We do have a little bit of some Spanishy moss guys here. Don't 
don't want to go too crazy with that either. Okay. But you know, hanging down every so often for the guests to uh, walk through. Might be kind of neat. Although they would destroy it pretty quickly. So maybe we'll just kind of leave it off to the sides a bit here. see that other one that we're gonna have to adjust just a bit. This guy's not really attached to anything here. Alright. So we got that. So overall, we're not doing bad. I'm gonna take the lights down here. See how dark it is through this section. Right, that's not terrible. I like how this is. We haven't touched the side of the path yet, so that's fine. But this is great. If anything, these lights might be a little bright. To be perfectly honest. That might be a little bit less glary. Let's put those in. And see. How we feel about that. So it was a bit of a glare coming off the walkway there. And then this guy too. I just I just want the light. I just want the light color, please. Okay, let's see. How's that feel? That feels a little better. Not quite so harsh. Um, it does leave us still with a little bit of darkness on this side, but like I said, we haven't gotten to that side yet. This is the side that we've been working on so far. And um, I think that's looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and bring the lights back up as gently as we can here. So it doesn't affect anybody too badly. All right, and let's go ahead and we'll hit play. And we'll see, but this is starting to, uh, oh, they made a donation. This is starting to uh, look pretty good in here. I feel like, oh, they're going to make a donation for something too. I'm not sure what, but they did. I'd say that's fine. Give me all of your monies. So yeah, no, I'm, I'm pleased with how we're looking. I know the light looks a little funny there. It's the way the shadows are coming through the trees and how my graphics are set at the moment. Hopefully soon. 
um, we'll be able to replace this guy and see what we can do about maybe being able to play on slightly bumped up graphics or at least being able to you know have full shadow or at least more shadow than I have going <laughs> I do have stuff turned down pretty good um, but you yeah, know this, this area is starting to come alive with our slithering serpents oh and we also determined our entrance snaky guy here so we still have to come back and uh, put all that around and this stuff's not staying here it was just stuff I pulled out that I think I might want later but you know I can never remember where I place shit so it's just easier if I see it to grab it and toss it to the side and be like I might want that and uh, we did manage to bump up the scenery rating on this guy he is sitting at 25% of angriness, so that is good. We are pulled in off of the pathways. And then this guy is sitting at also 25% um, circular angriness. He's just touching the pathways here, but we have a lot more um, decorating to go back here, so. I think we'll be okay. Oh, we're gonna do a talk. That would be great. Like, I toyed with putting talk seating back in here, but I think we'll just do standing talks on these because these are just exhibit animals. It's not like it's the full habitat experience where um, they can, like, throw food and stuff things so it looks like people might be hanging about for the animal talk thingy here maybe was that the power dipping oh shit right let's save this bitch right now because if I have to redo all this I'm gonna cry Because, like, the fan, like, almost stopped, and that was bizarre. Okay. So, that's going to do it for today. I need to get going to go make my mom dinner. Oh. Uh, you're good on that. Okay. But, um, still, we, we need to go do some things. Check in on some things. And with the wind being weird, I kind of don't want to do too much more work on this at the moment. Um, we still might put a souvenir stand back in here, maybe. Haven't decided we could, like, along this back wall here, and then do, like, a little cutty-through. Don't know yet. Haven't fully decided on that. Um, because, I mean, it would be possible. Maybe. We'll have to see how we feel next week. Um, I'll be back tomorrow afternoon, at least I'm going to try to be, always migraine permitting, uh, to work some more on the duo zoo that the husband and I are challenging each other to build that up. Um, the playlist for that is on my YouTube channel. I will be having a recorded session where I finished up that Red Fox area the other night going up in a little bit. Um, probably after dinner I'll be posting that. That'll be episode 33, so that way we're kind of caught up for episode 34 tomorrow. And then he'll, he's going to try to do a session on his tomorrow night, providing he's feeling up to it. So, you guys have a great night. Enjoy your weekend. Um, let me just double check. I don't think anybody I know is doing the things and stuff right now. Nope, so we're just going to pop it off there. And you guys have a great one. Hope to see you tomorrow.